Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today we are talking about the new 1.8 update for the YOLO Box Pro. There's a lot of great features, so let's get right into this. First thing is first, and right there you can see this says there's an upgrade on the version. You're gonna tap that, it's gonna tell you about that. You're gonna be able to switch more sources, originally just six, but now there's gonna be a lot more. You're gonna be able to create multiple multi-views. This is gonna be fantastic. You can use the USB-C for an external USB drive. You could use the USB-C for audio from like the Rodecaster Pro and some other audio mixers that have USB capability. Also, automatically hide your overlays. So you just have to worry about tapping them in and they'll fade out automatically, which reduces the amount of times you have to interface with the Yola box. There's more shapes for the picture in picture, which can give you more creativity. Fade to black, which allows you to fade that show out at the end. They're thanking Photo Joseph. There's an optimized auto switch with a countdown timer for each video source. And they did some bug fixes. So let's install this. All right, well, first thing is first, we can add more sources, and that is a big thing. It's been, they say, six sources on the Yolo Box Pro, but you're limited to what's on the screen. I mean, you could do more than six, but the problem was you could never see more than six. Let me show you what I mean. What I'm gonna do is I am recording in the original Yola box and I am, you're gonna be able to look at, when I hit this button, you're gonna be able to look at the Yola box Pro and I'm recording in the original Yola box, I should say. So you can see if I add a source, let's just say a video. And if I find a video here, so here are a couple videos that I use the Yolo box to produce about some video lenses. So here we go. I'm going to select one of those videos. Okay, local video one. So I've got five inputs here and I've added two video clips. Now, if you want to add another video source, I don't have a, a PDF, but we're going to add a picture in picture video. So we're going to have over the background of the website and then we're going to have the live camera next and we can make that a little bigger. we we'll say done. And that camera should actually have a key on it and we'll put the background back on there. I was juggling cameras a little bit making this, so things got kind of convoluted. Done, done. And now I have six sources. As you can see, there's, there's no room down here for more things. But if you look down here in the middle, you can see now there's an arrow. And if I use this one to show you, if you select this arrow down here, you have more. So now I can add another source. I can add a news layout. Do the big video first, next, and the person talking, next. And there you go, and in the background, we're gonna put a light colored background on there, done. And now you can see we've got this picture in picture where I can talk about the video that is over there in a news background, done. And wait, let's add some more. Let's do a, uh, a side by side where I can do this video next and this video. Actually, no, let's go back. Let's do uh, a side-by-side -side where I'm going to talk about the website next. And then we add a background. Let's use my, let's use a dark gray, done. So now you can see spacing, you can change the spacing and everything, done. And if I go up with a little arrow, you can see now I have more than six sources. I have the six that you would normally have on one screen, and now with the down arrow, I have more, and I can keep adding. Let's do a split view with me, and let's go crazy, me. <laughs> and this is kind of crazy. I have a webcam. This is my webcam, and this is my main camera. Sorry, main camera, webcam, main camera, webcam. So I have two 
you can see how bad the webcam looks. Um, separator position, you can move those side by side, the border thickness, doo -doo -doo, separator direction, whoa, okay, done. And more. So uh, picture in picture two. So the key is like if you had two different panelists and those two different panelists were going to be talking about the same video, the same website, the same uh, PowerPoint presentation, you can now have two different picture and pictures. You can now have two different side by sides, two different news reporting things, and you can switch between those two people talking about the same content. And this is really a great new feature. I would say I'd love to, you know, like we have all of these different options. Like I can have two of this one and two of that one and two of the other one and two of the other one. I would love to have four of any one thing. Four, you know, just have four total, but let me choose what those four are. But this is fantastic and it's really pushing this in the right direction to give users more flexibility to pick what they want up there and also have variety between the pictures and pictures, variety between the side by side, variety between the news layout. You can have that three across. If you come down here and add a source, you come down here, there's the triple. You can have two different versions of the triple so that you could easily have variety in the same shot so that if you have three panelists and you have a host, you can switch between who those other people are on the side while keeping your moderator in place. And that is fantastic flexibility. Next up is much more enhanced USB-C. Not only can you use it for an external hard drive for storage or extra source overlay, but the USB-C is now going to start to be able to be used for audio input, like right now for the Rodecaster Pro and some other audio mixers. Now, the thing is there are a lot of audio mixers out there and it's gonna take a while to find out which ones have the right connectivity to work directly with the Yolo Box Pro. If yours doesn't work right out of the box, wait for it. it. This Again, like all the features in the Yolo Box, they're going to get better. So if you have something that doesn't work, if you try a USB mixer uh, and trying to bring audio over USB, let the team know, post it in the Facebook group, uh, send them an email, and let them know so that they can build the additional hooks to make this feature work. It's not gonna work with every single one out of the box, but it is, it is opening new doors. And again, this is making this box even more functional. So if you wanna have a Rodecaster Pro do all your audio mixing in, a, in there and bring USB audio over into the Yolo box, you can now do that. And additional mixers do work, the total list we're going to find out over the course of time as it, that feature develops. Next up, multiple multi-views. I spoke on this already, but as you saw, when we come down here and we say, give me an additional source, you can see there's two picture-in-picture -picture videos. There's two split views, two side-by-sides, two news layouts, two triple across. And that is really showing you like right now I have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten inputs and I'm still able to add another one. Uh, let's do a triple. Uh, let's do this one. Next. This one. Next. This one. Next. So now you can see I have a triple. <laughs> I don't even know where to look anymore. <laughs> there's, there's too many of me's. I have a triple across. There, this is just giving you so much flexibility in this tiny little box. Don't need a computer. This is giving you computer level video mixing and flexibility now in the Yolo box with nothing else additional. All right, next up is more shapes for the picture in picture. So let me go down here and I am gonna get rid of a couple of these just because delete, done, delete, done. And now if I wanted to do a picture in picture, let's go back into this and we're gonna write subscreen shape. Now with this subscreen, I actually need to reselect my sources. First, the background is the website. Second one is me talking next. So typically you've got a, the rectangular video. Now we have always been able to change the ratio here 
But going to a circle is a very nice little feature and making it a little bigger and then of course moving it where you want to. So that gives you just another level of variety to how you want that to look. Diamond, I don't necessarily think I'd use the diamond, but it's there as an option. And, but the circle is definitely usable and the rectangle, which we know and love, also has the ability to affect the aspect ratio. So it's not just a rectangle, it's a square, it's a vertical 9 by 16, it's even a 10 by 16, 16 by 10, 4 by 3, 1 by 1. And as I've shown you before, if you do a background and the camera has a green screen next, then you don't have a box at all. You just have the head. And this head can point at things. You know, look at all these great YOLO boxes right here. These are fantastic things. These really are awesome. And that can be positioned anywhere you want without having to worry about a shape because the green screen is being cut away. So that is another great feature, having the ability to change the subscreen shape Again, more variety, more creativity, more features being put into the product that you already own. Next up, auto hide overlays. What does that even mean? What that means is the YOLO box is making it easier to do what you're already doing. Normally, as you saw me when I do this show, I have to tap my title on and then I have to tap it back off. What if you didn't have to do that second part? That's eliminating 50% of the times you have to touch the screen for titles. So let's take a look at that. We have this title up here for me. And it's right, one of these days I'm gonna get this, this one right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up, we're gonna write it. Now, auto hide. You see at the bottom it says auto hide. We're gonna turn it on. And now we're going to get additional things down here. Duration, 10 seconds. I'm just going to make this a little shorter so that we can see it without having to wait very long. We'll do five seconds. Done. Done. So now, if I'm talking to you, I'm opening the show, I tap it on and I say, hey, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live. And today we have a great feature. And you saw it went away without me having to touch it. Like I have somebody else running the show. I don't, but it gives you that added, that added polish that you don't have to be remembering to turn things off. And there's been times I've put up a, a graphic and for, kind of forgot it was there, especially if you're doing your own shows and you are the talent as well as the producer. There are times I'll put up a graphic or something like that and forget I put it up. It's, it, if the more you can automate, the more you can put in here that you don't have to remember to keep undoing things, the better your show is going to be and the less work you have to do to make that show awesome. So again, I just tap that on and here I am. I'm talking to you and this is going to be a great show first. So let's get into this and here we go. Now the Yola box, I have, that's an, oh, that is a graphic over top. That one does not. So it is not every graphic and it is not every overlay. The lower third graphics, that is where you see it now. Done. And here you go with my graphics. You can see on the right here, auto hide. Auto I can turn this on and say how fast that graphic goes off. These new features are being implemented. Let's see what people think. See what sort of recommendations we get. If you have feedback on these things, post them to the group. As you can tell, all of these features are coming from user feedback and being implemented into the tools that we use. And they're just making our jobs easier and better. Next up, fade to black. Now, I'm sure this has been a user request because it actually says, thanks, Photo Joseph on here. So I'm willing to bet you he was the person who says, this really needs to have a fade to black. Me personally, as a live streamer, I don't fade to black anymore because I end the video with video content or still graphic or something else. I don't fade to black. Fade to black comes from television where in between this commercial and that commercial or the program and a, 
you know, PSA or something like that, black was the common denominator. You would always take your program, fade it to black, and then come back out into a commercial. Fade to black, go back into the show. Black was the common denominator. Generally, I don't see people making broadcast television with the Yolo box. It can happen, but I see this as a streaming device because that's what it's built for. It's built for live streaming and comments to come in and all of that functionality. And in the streaming world, there's not really a need to fade the entire program to black, but it's here for those people who want it. And fade to black is a feature that is going to be available when you are streaming, not when you're recording, because when you're recording, your content is going to be edited later and you can always add a fade to black. In North America and other areas, they wanted 60 frames a second. Really, that's 59.94. But in other areas, they actually want 50. And as you can see, 50 is now an option. So in other areas of the world, you can now record and stream 50 frames a second for a higher frame rate that matches the electrical hertz of your country. Now let's get into a couple audio things that have also been tweaked. First of all, as you can see down here, I've got my line in and line in has been changed to stereo. So you can bring in a stereo analog signal through the line input of the Yolo box. In addition, at the very top of the audio mixer, you can now see there's a little icon in the far right. You tap on that and now your audio gain cap, you can see you can increase this to 30 dB and that's gonna change how much you can raise the level. Now, given all microphones are not created equal and all audio sources are not created equal, I try to keep the gain as low as possible so that you're keeping the noise floor of your signal as low as possible. In your storage settings now, you can not only choose your SD card, but you can also choose to put it on USB storage. I have a USB stick plugged into the device right up here. I'll screw it down for a second. I have a USB device plugged in right here, and that is available right here in my USB storage. Why would you do that? Well, personally, I like to, it's, it's a division of labor. If you are playing back clips off of your SD card, I'd rather record to a USB stick. Also, if you're streaming, but you have a client who wants to take the program with them, it's so much easier to record to, you, to the client's USB stick and then just hand it to them after the event and they can take it with them as opposed to recording to the, US, to the SD card and then I have to copy it to the client's USB stick later. It's just a matter of simplicity. If you've got something, give it to me, I'll record right onto it and here you go, I can hand it to you at the end of the event. Let me go back and I am actually going to use this graphic to close the show. And so let's use this in actual practice. I'm going to use this, which is the list of uh, features. I am going to put auto hide after, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's do, let's do 30 seconds. Let's see how well I know my 30 seconds. Done. Done. So let's do this. Ready? And... So let's talk about this 1.8 update one more time. You've got more video sources. You've got two pages that you can scroll through and just line things up, and that is just giving you more flexibility than ever before. Enhanced USB-C, where you can write to the USB stick, you can bring in USB audio. More multi-view creativity in terms of multiple pips and shape sizes. Fade to black and auto fade off with your graphics so that once you launch it, you don't have to worry about remembering to turn that graphic off. It's going to fade off automatically without you having to do anything like it just did. And that's where Yolo Box is really pushing the envelope, making these features even better for everyone out there using it for their productions. My name is Anthony Barocas for Yolo Live. Thanks for watching.